G'day and welcome back to Minecraft. In this video tutorial we'll be looking at a fairly simple redstone device. I do have to say I'm pretty much a noob when it comes to redstone, however even I can make this one so I thought I'd share with how it all works. It is a fairly simple piston powered system which uses flowing water to harvest about a hundred wheat or so all within a nice enclosed room. It could be carved into a mountain, uh, but in this example we'll be creating a building for it, so you can see how you can do it yourself. So let us get on the way. I think that's the one. Yeah, that's the one. I've just recently discovered this village and thought I'd um, bring some resources over and set up. Took a bit to get that green grass over, I can tell you. Anyway, let's just go over here. Now, the start, you're going to need to create a four wide by, oh, I think it's 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yes, 12 area. And this is basically the foyer of the, um, the whole room. I've set up this little spot here just so I've got all my supplies and I can actually build from here. You'll need to decide on which side will be your door and I'm going to place that door over here. And so I can have these over there. So let's start quickly by taking a look at the gear that you'll need and that's this bottom line here that's so important. You're going to need 35 redstone. 33 cobblestone, 27 stone, that's the clean stone, you'll need to cook it, 24 wooden planks, 19 sticks, 8 iron ingots, you'll need some water of course and some spare redstone for the actual wiring itself. This is all you need to actually create the things to build it. So let's just grab those to start with. So. Now, I need to remember how to do all this. We'll firstly need to create ourselves a lever to control the whole system. Now, we're going to need 18 redstone torches. These will be used to create repeaters. Now, we're going to need to create, let's have to remember ooh, our repeater system redstone. Torch and torch, and then on the bottom, stone. So, nine, nine, nine. Here's our repeaters. And the next thing we'll need is pistons. So for our pistons, they go on the bottom. They go on the top. These go on the sides. And our wooden planks go on the top. Ba bang. Okay, so we'll just pop those over here. Now the other thing we'll need to do is um, grab that for our wiring for later. Okay, let's have a. Oh, I suppose we'll just. Ooh, what have I got? What have I got? We'll grab a little bit of that and. We'll just do that to start with. Okay, so first thing we'll do is just nick over to the side here and we'll create ourselves our infinite water supply because, well, it's always nice to have when you stuff something up. Not that I do that often. Now, once you've got your big line set up across here, we're going to need to create an 8x8 eight eight section. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this will leave three on this side. Now, the reason you want this three here is because down this path is where you're going to have your redstone wiring. So, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here we go. Now 
what I think I might do is when I'm laying down or doing just a bit of a, a dig, I might um, speed up the whole thing so you don't have to sit back and endure it. But for now we'll chat through. It is quite a simple design and certainly does not need to be uh, this large or this small. You could not use this 8x8 area. Um, you could make it much smaller, well, a little bit smaller. Uh, you could also make it much larger by extending this out um, basically as, as long as you'd like. I don't think there's too much of a need for that much wheat in one hit, but oh, I don't know, if you end up being on a, a large server and you find that you can trade quite happily with other people, then it could be worthwhile. Um, so that's our first slot. We'll just grab one more, and what we're doing is up here, this one will be five. So and this is our upper layer, and you could actually just do this, I think about six maybe, I think it is. Uh, if you made it just, you know, eight by six, that would be enough for a small little um, control and that would work just fine. I might even try to build that later on and have a look. But for now, that will do. What else have we got? Get rid of that sand, we don't need that. Um, I'm going to be building it out of sandstone, mainly because, well, I'm in the middle of a desert, so plenty of sand around for me to build this with. But before we do that, the rules for creating your irrigation system. Oops, see what I mean? Is fairly simple. You've basically got next to any water, one, two, three, four across will be irrigated by that water. So by making an eight when putting water on each side, easy done. You could even just make a single channel in the center, but I must admit, in doing that, I found some problems. So this just seemed to be easier, uh, more self-contained as well. And I like easy. Do do another one. Oh, I'm not sure whether or not you've noticed, you could have before, if I hit escape, saving level, oh, it doesn't say it, but we're on Minecraft 1.0.0. We've actually gone to the big one release. Just got released probably about, oh, I think it would have been 15 minutes ago, I think. Okay, so... We'll just cover this up like so. So that's our next channel. We'll continue this along. Now we have to actually make this section here um, and make sure that channel is there. You could actually dig this in one level. Uh, which means you wouldn't have to actually create that. But, eh, this will do. Go get some water. Should have refilled before. And this is why we always make an infinite supply at hand. Because it just, it's just very handy. Okay. Ta-da! So, the next part that we need to build, oh, we need to cover this up as well. Nice and easy. So that's our basic harvest area. Now it'll be in this section here that we're going to be putting in the pistons. So what I want to do is actually create a bracket that holds them. 
Now it's on this line here. Yeah, I'll just pop this up here as well. On this line here is where the extended piston will be pushed down because the piston will be here. And then when it's turned on, it will be blocking that area here. And it's along this area here, along that line, that you will have the water that flows down. So let's just get that in place. That's all. And now we'll um, jump across to our pistons. Put that over there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pistons. Ta da! Now, the next thing we want to do, let's have a think. We want to lay some more. We'll just put some dirt down, that'll do. Along here. You could make it with cobble, you could make it with anything. If you're mad enough, you could do it with obsidian. But I, I find the um, sandstone to be a good idea because it helps with mob control and spiders. Okay, so enough chatter. Let's go and get some more water. And some more sandstone. Because we'll need to actually create the channel. Just see how that will extend down to here. And this point here is where we're going to have our water. So we'll just pop in the control for the water. Like so. And then along this line here, I believe that will work, yes. Easy. And now if we go along and take a look, we can see how our water flows down. So it'll take everything that it finds, drop down that point there, and bring all our lovely, lovely loot in a line to be harvested. Very nice. But what we need to do is set up our wiring. Now, Not as hard as I thought it would be, but let's take a look. We need to attach these. Um, actually, let's also... Now, we need the repeater. We can't put it there and we can't put it there. So we will need to pop it there. Now, if we get rid of that, I believe that will work just fine. We'll test it and grab ourselves a lever. Ooh. That may not be correct. I'm yeah, pretty sure that was right. Well, let's do it this way. Get our lever. We have power. Oh, that's not good. So we'll need to come up with one. So we can do that by doing this. Aha! There you go. That's what we want. So, we'll continue that along. I, I believe we can cover that up. We'll need to cover it up anyway. Doo -doo -doo. So once we've got these in place, we can then pop one down everywhere. And then, wire it all up. 
by having the repeaters like this, it means that we can split off that charge that's coming down our redstone to everything, just like so. But we don't want that here. That's not useful. We want this down at the end. So what we're going to do... is this. Pop our torch right there and then wire it up so that when we walk into our room we've got one nice little switch which doesn't work and this is why we need our last repeater. As you can see when it's turned on this all activates but it stops here, it's not strong enough. So what we'll do is, say at that point there, attach our repeater, and then everything is fine. So you can continue to make it longer and longer. You'll just need to add more repeaters. There you go. Very easy. So we'll just... Let's have a think. That's all working and fine. The other thing you will need to do is to create the walls, of course, to create everything and keep it simple. Do, 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 do. So what I think I will do is quickly set up the walls rather than you enjoy me doing it and I'll also till the ground and get that going as well but I'll put that into fast forward so strap on here we go Okay, so that's our call room. We'll just um, quickly throw our front on top. Okay, the next thing we'll need to do is to, let's have a look, I've got some, we'll pop in some torches so that we can see, we'll just throw one down, you don't need to put them completely like this, but I, I do like having, I think it looks pretty, it looks nice, so we'll just continue to pop these up. And the next thing, of course, will be to set up your harvesting. Do I have? I do have that ready. We'll just grab some seeds. Don't need those anymore. 
and that should be fine. Again, I'll do this quickly, um, and then we'll continue on with the big test. Well, actually, let's cheat. Well, cheat. What we'll do is get ourselves some bone meal so we can put down the seed and then we can simply just make it all work straight away. So let's do it quick. And there we have it. Beautiful. To celebrate, let's build a door. Here we go. One door. Done. So now, aside from perhaps putting on torches on the outside to make sure that no mobs can come in or spawn around it. But that's it. What a beautiful sight that is. So to test it all out, let's just pop all these back in. Bring out my food. And then we'll activate and watch it all happen. Here we go. Countdown. Five. Four, three, two, one. Look at that go. Just beautiful. Brings it all down to you. Of course you'll have to replant it yourself, but it does keep the ground tilled, which is very useful. So long as you keep crouching, you won't... Uh, you can actually uh, go through and replant everything. No need to retill. So let's take a look and see just how much of a harvest that was. Oh, lovely sound. So there you go. 64 and 32 wheat and more than enough seed coming back from that. So very nice. You can basically wander off, do your thing during the day and night, come back in oh, usually about an hour or two in game time, oh, sorry, in real time, and you'll have a full set waiting for you once again. You could, of course, extend this out, another one. You could extend it down further. You could do, make it smaller, have multiple stations if you wanted. But this is a nice, simple way, not too resource intensive and works like a treat. So I hope this little instructional video has been of some use. Um, I highly recommend you give it a shot. It's a great way just to quickly get what you need um, and a bit of a nice project to boot. So until the next time, Ciao for now.